The Spartans are riding high after their victory over Quakertown last week and now turn their attention to their rivals in the Crusaders. 20 seconds into the game from his team's own 35-yard line, quarterback Danny Darno takes the ball on a keeper and bursts through the opening provided by his offensive line. Darno finds space in the middle of the field before cutting towards his left and takes it all the way in for a touchdown. A 65-yard run gives the Crusaders a 7-0 lead. Four plays later, Spartans quarterback Chris Fitz delivers a dart to Andrew Olesh. Olesh dodges two defenders to catapult his way into the end zone to tie the game for Southern Lehigh at 7. With the Spartans leading 14-7, Cade Sawyer receives the pitch from Fritz and finds space along the edge to run 75 yards for the touchdown. Southern Lehigh extends their lead to 21-7 behind Sawyer's first score of the game. After the Crusaders punt on the previous possession, the Spartans make them pay as it's Sawyer again. This time he cuts through the offensive line and scurries his way 55 yards for his second rushing touchdown of the contest. Spartans further their lead to 28-7. One last time for Notre Dame Green Pond before the end of the first as Darno keeps it for his second rushing touchdown of the game. The score now 28-14 heads into the second quarter. The first possession for the Spartans in the second and they moved right down the field to set up Cade Sawyer with this one yard touchdown run. It's Sawyer's third score of the night and Southern Lehigh now leads 35-14. With Darno getting intercepted by Sawyer, it sets up the Spartans. Fritz hands things off to Christian Trevis, who scampers off tackle to the left to burst his way into the end zone for a touchdown. The Spartans take a 42-14 lead. The Spartans end up running away with the game in the second half and cemented their second win of the year with a 68-28 final against the Crusaders. It's a great game. We, we just got to cut down on the mistakes, but this is a huge win. They, they're a very explosive team. We held them down pretty well. Honestly, that was an incredible statement from the guys. I'm extremely proud of them. I mean, put up 68 points against one of the best teams in the Lehigh Valley. I mean, I'm, I'll give them credit. They are one of the best teams in Lehigh Valley, and I'm extremely proud of the guys for, I mean, everything that we did tonight. Yeah, it's unique when you score in all three phases uh, on special teams, defense, and offense. So it's, it's um, you know, shout out to the kids, number one, and to the coaches. The coaches did a phenomenal job um, coming up with game plans and, and getting it done. Defense corner Craig Sutyak, special teams, offensive line, every, everybody did a fantastic job. And the players obviously executed it and did fantastic. All three phases of the game clicked for the Spartans in their victory over the Crusaders. And like any other team, they try to chase perfection game in and game out. But one thing that is for certain, it motivates them going into their game against Bangor next week. You know, we always talk about chasing perfection. It's something that's unattainable, but we'll find ex excellence along the way if we keep uh, chasing perfection. We can't we can't overlook Bangor next week. They're a great team. They're 2-0, and honestly, we just have to keep our heads down and keep working. I mean, this is a win tonight, but that doesn't mean it's going to be that easy next week, so we just got to keep working. From Southern Lehigh, I'm Mike Ventola with the Service Electric Network.